Officials in charge of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant say they've run into another problem. They say a wall they built to stop contaminated groundwater from seeping into the sea has failed. The industry ministry estimates that 300 tons of tainted groundwater are flowing into the Pacific Ocean every day. Engineers from Tokyo Electric Power Company injected chemicals into the earth to harden it and create an underground wall. But they were unable to solidify the soil closest to the surface. surface. The TEPCO workers recently dug a well just inside a new wall to monitor the water level. They found it was slightly higher than the top of the wall. The workers are pumping out contaminated groundwater as a temporary measure. A uh, TEPCO spokesperson says the company has known for the past two years that a massive amount of groundwater was flowing beneath the Fukushima power plant. The official says TEPCO experts estimated hundreds of tons of the water could reach the ocean daily. The figure is based on rough records of groundwater we collected. The figure was not reached with the help of outside experts. We collected it ourselves. Until last month, TEPCO officials had denied the possibility that contaminated groundwater was leaking into the ocean. The official says he is unable to explain why it took two years to disclose this fact. Sunday marks two years and five months since the March 11th disaster. The residents of a town about 10 kilometers from the crippled Fukushima Daiichi plant have visited family graves before the Buddhist Bon holidays. Many gravestones were washed away by the tsunami and weeds have grown around the foundations. Some people had difficulty finding the graves. Residents of Namie town had to evacuate after the Fukushima nuclear accident. They're not allowed to live there and can only visit some parts of the town. The mourners removed weeds, offered incense and left flowers. They also prayed for their ancestors and missing relatives. It took me a while to find you. My dear, I'll come back next month to see you again. Sunday marks two years and five months from the March 11th disaster. A group of volunteers is searching for people still missing after the 2011 earthquake and tsunami in northeast Japan. About 60 people took part in a search on a beach in Ishinomaki City, Miyagi Prefecture. Summer volunteers, including junior and senior high school students, participated from across the country. 15,883 people are confirmed dead in the disaster, mainly in northeast Japan, while 2,656 people remain unaccounted for. 1,299 people are still listed as missing in Miyagi, one of the hardest hit prefectures. The volunteers turned over rocks by hand under the scorching sun. I hope we can find the clues to the whereabouts of the missing. Many people have come here to help us. We want to continue the activity as long as we can. Volunteers offered prayers for the victims.